Okay, so I want to try to explain universal basic income with Legos. So I'm going to start with this one blue block represents welfare programs. Stuff like food stamps, uh, SNAP, um, TANF, um, housing assistance, you know, these kinds of programs for the poorest. So if you have the lowest income, you get the most of this specific type of what we call welfare. Now, if you have a little bit higher income, so you're not totally at zero a little bit, then you get a little bit less of the welfare assistance. And you also start to get assistance through the tax code, uh, stuff like earned income tax credits and child tax credits. So that's a different color, it's yellow. Um, kind of consider this as like welfare for the um, middle class. The, and so you don't get traditional welfare, you get these tax credits and tax subsidies. And you believe that you weren't really getting anything or maybe you do look at it and go, well, this is helping me a little bit. But that's um, all you get, and it is, you do get something. Now, as you earn more, you get less and less of that. And now you also get to something called uh, tax expenditures. And tax expenditures flow mostly to those with the higher incomes. Uh, we spend $1.5 trillion every year in the US on tax expenditures, and 17% of it flows to the top 1%. If you're absolute, um, you know, say you're at the you're at the top, you're the top one percent. On average, you're earning around um, you know thirty thousand dollars per year in tax expenditures. So this is can be considered welfare for the rich. Now we don't really consider it welfare, but it is, and it's assistance um, that helps them really have more assets. Um, and it's stuff that that we're spending money on um, by reducing the taxes um, on the rich for these. So there are tax loopholes, um, you know, tax breaks. It's all tax subsidies. So we're already doing this for everyone, rich, middle, and poor alike. All of like everybody is receiving assistance in some form, for the most part, uh, but they just don't see it that way. So we can just rearrange these and say, okay, well, let's get a little bit less to the rich and uh, more to the middle and even this out. And as you can see, um, we are already spending all of this in a way that could create a basic income. It's just a matter of rearranging it. We already have just a hundred different programs. And if we just make it all the same thing, one universal basic income floor that everyone starts with then we don't even necessarily have to spend any more money on it we can just create that floor by simplifying what we're already doing so when people ask how can we afford basic income you know oh my gosh it costs so much well actually we are already doing it um, we can just do it differently in a way that's unconditional and universal so now also People kind of misunderstand what basic income is. And it's important to understand that it's a floor. So everyone starts with the same amount and everyone earns income on top of it. So unlike the traditional way of going about this, where let's say you're um, receiving welfare assistance for not having any income, and let's say you're earning a thousand dollars of benefits and a job offers for a thousand dollars and well now to go from one to the other you aren't any better off you're you, you don't improve your situation but with a basic income it's a floor it's not withdrawn with any amount of income that you earn on top of it so now you're always better off by accepting that employment so if you only earn the basic income and you don't accept any employment in addition to it, then that's what you have. You have less than anybody else. You at least have something for your basic needs, but that's the minimum. And then as you earn more income, you earn more income. So of course, the rich are still rich. They're still earning income 
on top of their basic income. They still have more than everybody else. And those who aren't employed have less than everybody else. But as you earn more, you get more. And that's how universal basic income works. It's an unwithdrawable foundation.